Whoa, look at this. This is something I haven't seen before. Time to slay. And as you move this way, it turns into time to play. Spirits open, let's go. <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. Wow, guys, I am truly a foreigner today. I don't know how many hundreds of Spirit Halloween stores that I have been to and talked about seeing things I've never seen before, but this is a first for me. I have never seen a Spirit Halloween sign written in French. Check that out. That is pretty dang cool right there. We are continuing our Spirit Halloween tour across Canada and today we are in this place, which I couldn't even pronounce, so I had to look it up. It is pronounced Lingale, Quebec, and it's not even Quebec. Apparently it's Quebec. Lingale, Quebec. You guys know me. If you've been watching these videos for a while, I will take any chance I get to mispronounce a name like Okanomawak, Wisconsin. <laughs> But I am not gonna do that here. I am truly beginning to learn what it feels like to be a foreigner in a different country. I'm so ignorant, I never even considered that they might speak a different language in any part of Canada. Everything here is French. I can't even pronounce anything else on that sign except Spirit Halloween. All the street signs, all the stores, everything is in French in this area. And I'm very curious to find out if the packaging in this store is in French. Oh my gosh. Guys, what if the animatronics speak French? That would be cool. Well, here it is. Let's go in. Lingale, Quebec, Canada. I think we are about 20 minutes from Montreal. Let's go ahead in and see what it's like in this store. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. And I don't speak a stitch of French. This must be the sign that tells the hours. I have no clue. I do not belong. Okay, now I belong. No matter what language it is, it's still Spirit Halloween. Oh my gosh, this store looks so awesome. And I don't see one person in here. Where the heck is everybody? This is so cool, guys. Look at this. The first thing that I notice is that, yes, the signs are in French. I don't know how much else is in here. I mean, looking straight at the uh, the products here, they're all in English, but look at that. That is cool. There is something you don't see every day. Look at this, the signs over the socks, the animal costumes, every department. Check that out, oh my gosh. Okay, so yes, they definitely do speak straight up French in here, guys. And I am the foreigner, so I need to tread lightly in here. No jokes today. Like, I truly do not want to offend anyone. And I am just amazed at the awesome sights in here, guys. It is still Spirit Halloween, no matter what language it is in. I absolutely love this. This brings a whole new level to the video. Okay, they have got a ton of animatronics on the floor here for sale. You know what, let's just go through those first and then we're gonna come back to the animatronics that are set up in the carnival. Check this out, we got a dagger mic here, we've got a Nibbles the Clown, we've got a Slim, they have the Killer Clown's popcorn gun, the Fogging Skull Pile, they have a Ghost Face animatronic, we've got an Annabelle, a Man's Possessed Friend, the Cremator, oh my gosh, right there is Heckles. Somebody literally just asked me last night on a video if I had seen a Heckles in a store this season, and I have not, this is a first. We've got some Sitting Scarecrows, some scare sitting scarecrows. We've got the cauldron -ness. Barnaby the bear, a giant death ray on the bottom. Fogging skull pile. We got another animatronic ghost face over here. And we have the baby hiding Harry, or as I like to call him, peekaboo clown. We got the demonic gatekeeper over here and the inflatable spider. The giant death ray, another Barnaby the bear, the Jack the Reaper archway. And here is the answer to my question. Do the animatronics speak French. They do not. Although this guy, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, we're going to come back and see these guys in a minute. Let's come on down here. We've got a whole plethora of jumping spiders here. I see the black jumping spider. We've got the 
brown jumping spider. I see the gray down here on the bottom, and we have the black and red all the way down on the bottom. We have all of the jumping spiders. And look who's hanging up here. Oh, uh, he's turned on, but he's not working. I wanted to hear him make his sounds. We got the inflatable Sam. We got the fogging skull pile here. And look who we have up here. Oh my gosh, we have two grave watchers right there. And we have the ringmaster right here. I keep saying I'm gonna buy the grave watcher. Today just might be the day, but look who else we have. We have the creepy crimson girl on a swing. While we're here, let's go ahead and spin the wheel of fate. Where will it land? What is it? What will it be? <laughs> the skull of death. All right, let's just come look over here real quick in the corner, see if we spy any other animatronics we are missing. I don't see any right off the bat, so let's go ahead back up here. We'll look at the animatronics through the carnival. And of course, we've got the ringmaster and Ghostface. Look at the tip of Ghostface's knife. It got bent somehow. All right, let's go ahead and get him going here. Strange that you and I have never spoken on the phone. This is long overdue. All right, let's go ahead and get the ringmaster going here. Come on now, shack attack. Uh oh, oh, here he is. Very cool, and look down at his feet. We have the creeping cat, we have the hand eater zombie, and we have the black crow. And look who we have over here at Ghostface. We have the hello rat. All right, let's go ahead through the carnival here. Hello, Jack the One-Eye. And here we have towering Tallulah and the dark princess. All right, I don't see a step pad for Tallulah. Is maybe her sensor on? I don't think so, unless this is her. Oh, okay, we got two of them over here. Let's go ahead and do this one first. This has got to be the Dark Princess. I hope she doesn't fall off of there. Don't fall off. <laughs> I thought for sure she was going to fall off the side. I've got to move her over. Hold on. Move her over. There we go. We don't want you falling off, little miss. All right, let's just do it one more time here with her not falling off. All right, Dark Princess, it's your time to shine. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys, my nerves are just on the edge in here. I feel like such an idiot walking around speaking straight up English and everybody in here is speaking French. Like I just feel so out of place and I feel like I need to be sorry to everybody around me. <laughs> here comes Tallulah. There she goes. <laughs> All right, let's come on over here and see Max Straw. Here we go. Hello, Mackie. <laughs> <laughs> you need some aqua fresh look at this i don't know if i've seen the zero tombstone yet before check this out i don't want it to fall over but i want to push the button see what it does okay there's a light up there a blue light that illuminates the headstone that is pretty cool let's get the giant death ray going here Okay, we got the cremator and we got Art the Clown here. All right, let's get Art going. Come on, Art. Oh, he's not moving. All right, I'm gonna leave some stickers in the Scarecrow's bucket here. Um, his sensor must not be on because he didn't jump and I don't see a step pad down here, but that's okay. All right, let's move on to the Fun House of Terror over here. We already kind of saw these guys. Let's go ahead and do Bobby strings here. Come on, Bobby. Hi there, kids. You're a lovely sight. Here's a spooky tale to fill you up with fright. I'm a puppet who's trying to get down. When you're fast asleep, I'm gonna roll around. Oh wait, we gotta come over here and do the jumping spider. Hold on. And these guys are on the sensor, so they're gonna be going crazy. Let's go ahead and get the spider going. Come on, Mr. Jumpy. 
There you go. Good job. All right, we'll go through the Fun House of Terror, and then we'll make our way to this side here. Let's go on in. Fun House of Terror. I don't... Oh, I do smell a cotton candy in here. I almost said I don't smell it, but I do. I got a little bit farther in, and I can smell it very strongly. Before cotton candy, after cotton candy. All right, let's keep on moving here, guys. Let's get Nibbles going here. Come on, Nibbly. I'm just admiring your costume. <laughs> hey, you over there. Yeah, you. I'm giving out some candy. I thought this would be a great way to make some friends. So come a little closer and try to take some. What do you say? <laughs> he was definitely the loudest one in here. Oh my gosh, he abruptly stopped talking and looked straight at me. I'm sorry for interrupting you, sir. I love how around everything they have so much stuff set up. Look at this, we got some inflatable jack-o'-lanterns over there, the inflatable jack, the reaper archway. We got the hand-eater zombie baby over there. We've got chainsaws. We got this pumpkin guy. Check it out, I never noticed this sign before. Spirit Carnival presents the Fun House of Terror Brought to you by the Carvomatic Jack o' Lantern Company. Very cool. I think the Carvomatic was one of the best things they ever had set up. All right, let's see if we can get Wanda Webworth going here. Come on, Wanda. I love the spider sounds. Makes me want to go home and watch Arachnophobia. And then we've got Cotton Candy Dan. Let's go ahead and. Get him going here. Yum, yum, yum! Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's not. <laughs> One thing I'll tell you though, it'll do more than rot your teeth out! <laughs> okay, let's make our way through a little bit of this store here. They are absolutely stocked, guys. Look at this, they got a couple things over here I didn't even point out. They have two of the Nightmare Before Christmas groundbreaking worms. We got the new Barbara Wire zombie baby. We have the inflatable clown with purple hair and spinning eyes. Look at all this. Every crack and crevice is absolutely stocked in here. We got some of these light up porch buddies down here. Sam from Trick or Treat. We've got all three of these blow molds up here. They don't actually light up, but you could easily add a light to them like you could cut a little hole in the bottom or the back and add a light to those and that would be cool i love how they have different zombie babies just set up all around the store randomly we've got gutsy gwen here eating her pumpkin we've got the pennywise horror baby we've got the ghost face horror baby we've got the slim bobblehead this is pretty cool i don't know if i've seen this before i probably have but I'm always looking at so much stuff in these stores that I miss things. We got the ghost face bobblehead back here. Michael Myers bobblehead here. I think, do I have this one? I think I actually have this one. Whoa, look at this. This is something I haven't seen before. Time to slay. And as you move this way, it turns into time to play. That is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. Young Michael Myers turns into old killer Michael Myers. Of course, young Michael Myers is also a killer. That is seriously so cool. Oh my gosh, have you guys seen these in any other stores? You gotta let me know in the comments below. I am so gonna regret it if I don't buy this. All right, here's another thing. Look, I mean, look at this. Every crack and crevice of this store is absolutely packed with stuff. And somebody was asking me the other day if I had seen any of these Terrifier neon light-up signs. And here is one, in fact, there's two of them here. I think I may have seen them in other stores, I don't remember. Maybe not Terrifier, but they also have Mars Attacks. Here's a Killer Clowns one here. Here's Ghost Face with double knives. We got Sam's Sucker up there, and there's the Time to Float Pennywise balloon. Ghost Face Blow Molds, man, they have four of those, and there are two Ghost Face Horror Zombie Babies down there too. We got the Ghost Face, Michael Myers, and Slim Sidesteppers. Oh, and look behind him, we have the Spiky Sidestepper 
and the ghost. Here's the Art Crispy's throw blanket I've pointed out a couple times. I just think that thing is awesome. I don't see any other throw blankets here that I have not personally seen in other stores, but I really do like this Frankenstein one, the original horror show. That is awesome. I love these Hawaiian looking shirts here, especially the banana shirt. Here's some cat buckets. Let's go ahead and leave some stickers in those. If you guys come in looking, they're in the cats. And I'm going to leave a couple in these buckets over here right below the daddy bears. We'll put one in there, two in there. We got Wednesday and her headless doll. A ton of awesome SpongeBob costumes. In including the jellyfishing net which comes with a jellyfish that is hilarious that is one thing i'm not sure i have seen in other stores but i absolutely love it michael myers slippers okay here we go you see the haha -ha guy right there right across from him as we turn to the left here is the michael myers section and to the left here is the sam trick-or-treat section and this is a magnet. I'm going to stick it right here on that pole. That is for you. In fact, we're gonna put it up way high so a parent has to get it. <laughs> Look at this, they got the rat eaters over here protecting the inflatables. We have the inflatable hearse, the inflatable spider, zombie pathway markers, groundbreaking skeletons. I just cannot get over how packed this store is, guys. Look at this. You can barely walk through here. And look at this. As I turn to the right, look up here. They have even more stuff waiting to come down on the floor, including another heckles I see hiding back there. And look at this up on the balcony. Now, chances are these are all just the boxes from all the animatronics they have set up. But look at that. We got the Cremator. We got Ghostface, the Sitting Scarecrows, Towering Tallulah, the Ringmaster, Bobby Strings, everybody. There are so many masks here. It's absolutely insane. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Fully hollowfied Ichigo mask. Is that how you say it? We got a couple of the Hanging Jack Reapers here, a Hanging Sam. Wow, it just continues. There is so much stuff in here. I cannot believe it. Look at this Skella guy right here. It's like a Skella spider. Hanging witches, hanging skeletons, hanging pumpkins. Oh my lord. Look at what they have on the bottom shelf, guys. In a store, they actually have a burrito baby. What the heck? Burrito babies are almost extinct. You cannot find them in stores anymore or even online unless it's an eBay reseller. All right, guys, I am putting him back down here on the bottom shelf right here, right now. Lingale, Quebec, Canada. If you want a zombie baby, this is your chance. Oh my gosh, this store rules. We got creeping cats. We've got scabs. We've got a heart. We've got the zombie squirrel. Look at this Halloween goodness stack here. I just cannot believe how much stuff is in this store. This literally makes me think of Christmas morning over here. Look how it's just stacked up as if you looked up and there would be a Christmas tree right there. And here's what I'm going to do right here in this corner with these inflatables, these zombie babies, these cornucopia of Halloween goodness right over here by these Skella guys. I'm going to leave one more magnet. I'm going to stick it right up here for someone to find. I know that is awesome. Seriously, it just looks like the greatest Christmas ever. All this stuff just stacked to the brim back here. There's so much stuff this whole corner is just like a tunnel walking through. And as we leave out of it, we see the secret keeping cat. Don't tell anyone where I put the magnets. All right, let's get out of that area here. I don't have much battery left, guys. For some reason, my battery has just run down so fast in this store. I am literally on 15%. I am getting notifications that it's going to end soon. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it a day in this store. Absolutely enormous store packed to the gills. It's seriously as if four stores closed down and just said, here, take all our stuff. All right, that's it. All of this is costumes back here and accessories, more costumes and accessories over this way. We got the hairspray. This guy just literally scared the crap out of me. I wish I had the camera going because I jumped right out of my skin. I was looking back here at the handcuffs, trying to read that appropriately. 
and I jumped out of my skin when this guy yelled at me. All right, guys, to end this video, sorry if you wanted this and it's the only one you've ever seen, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. Awesome, right up on the top. All right, guys, wow. That was a crazy experience. There was an awesome store, never seen a sign in anything but English before. That was absolutely probably the most packed store I have ever seen. Lingale, Quebec in Canada. I bought the Michael Myers Time to Play, Time to Slay picture, and I left the burrito baby. And before we go, look who's over in this car looking straight at us. I went over there first and I looked in to make sure it wasn't a person before I filmed them. It's actually one of the stuffed dummy props dressed up like Michael Myers. How cool is that?